Bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et vous? Yep. Totally passed grade to French. I was not planning on wearing this much makeup today. As you can tell, they don't match. I'm also wearing my Costco pants, so overall this whole look is just very cohesive. But you know when you get new makeup and you just all you want to do is experiment? So I had no intention of doing like a bold smoky eye today, but here we are. I also like that I paired it with a bold lip. It feels very fall, which makes no sense at all with today's video, but we're, we're gonna roll with it. I'm here today to share with you guys some new Pinterest hacks tested. I am so excited. These are one of my most requested types of videos to do and I love doing them. They're so much fun. And since we are going into the whole spring season, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I'm like all into the whole like decluttering and getting rid of stuff and cleaning and organizing, except for my makeup. My makeup is all in boxes. It like hoarded away in my closet, but everything else we be cleaning. And so I thought today I would test out a couple of different hacks that I had seen online all around cleaning your home. So I've tested a whole bunch of them out. I wanted to share with you guys my results, which ones were great, which ones weren't so great, all of that kind of stuff. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. If you have any requests for new videos, please let me know. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first hack I wanted to share with you guys is all around um, vacuuming and, and making your house smell nice whilst you're vacuuming. So basically what you're supposed to do is put out like a pile of cinnamon and then vacuum it all up, which seems kind of wasteful to me, but stay with me here. And then you go about and vacuum the rest of your house as you normally would, and apparently the cinnamon heats up inside of the vacuum and makes your whole house smell like cinnamon, but like really nice and sort of that nice air freshener kind of effect. So that sounded really, really good, except I didn't want to waste three tablespoons of cinnamon doing this hack, because I'm like, what if it doesn't work at all? And then I just wasted three tablespoons of cinnamon. Three tablespoons of cinnamon is a lot more cinnamon than you think it is. How many times can I say cinnamon in the span of 20 seconds? So I vacuumed it all up and then I continued on and vacuumed my carpet and I didn't smell anything. I smelled like the faintest hint of cinnamon, but like not a lot. And so I'm like, well, I guess I have to use more cinnamon. So I put more cinnamon on the floor, vacuumed up more of it, and then went about and vacuumed the rest of my carpet. And I tried to spend some time like really vacuuming to try and like get the you know, vacuum to like heat up. So I was vacuuming around, I kind of smelled it, but I was like, I don't know if this is a placebo effect because I know that there's cinnamon in the vacuum and that's making me smell cinnamon. So I went upstairs and I vacuumed up Julia's room and then I told my dad, who was like watching the kids to go upstairs and smell Julia's room and tell me if it smelled like cinnamon. And so he came back down and he was like, yeah, I smell a little bit of cinnamon, like, like a tiny faint amount, but not a ton. Um, which I guess is kind of what you're looking for in an air freshener, but you should be able to smell something. But overall, it just wasn't enough of a nice, lasting cinnamon scent to justify wasting that much cinnamon. If you want your house to smell really nice and cinnamony, then I recommend putting some like orange peels and cinnamon with some water on the stove and letting it simmer. Smells amazing. You're probably gonna use a lot less cinnamon and your house is gonna smell amazing. But you still will have to vacuum. It's just you won't be vacuuming and making your house smell nice at the same time. The next one is all around tackling stains on white cutting boards. If you guys have these at home, you probably have similar stains to my own, unless you're like way ahead of the game, in which case, kudos, cause like I'm not. So these are the beautiful stains on my cutting board and the woman who did this hack said, all you need is a bunch of lemon. You can use lemon, you can use lemon essential oils, whatever you have, and all you need to do is just rub a whole bunch of lemon with a tiny bit of water onto like the um, aggressive, <laughs> aggressive, abrasive? That's the word I'm looking for. I guess it is kind of aggressive. You like rub that onto the cutting board and then you put it out in the sun for like an overnight kind of a period and you let it dry down and then you rinse it off and apparently all the stains are gone. So I did that and nothing happened. So then since I was squeezing a whole bunch of lemon to make hot lemon water anyway, I used the rest of the lemon and lemon juice that was in the actual lemon and then I rubbed it over over the entire cutting board again and then let it out, like sit out to dry or whatever. So I went down there this morning, nothing. Still covered in stains, which is super annoying. So um, maybe it's different if it's like specifically lemon essential oil. I didn't have any of that on hand, but she did say that you could use lemon and it would make a difference. Um, and I use it twice, nothing. So unfortunately, I'm still stuck with stains. If anyone has any other hacks that I could test out to get rid of the stains, let me know because I'm actually I'm actually genuinely curious and want to make it look better. But overall, this hack was 
a bust. The next one involves cleaning grout, which is something I never thought I would ever say because I didn't think you had to clean grout. I feel like I'm not adult enough for cleaning grout. Like I feel like I'm not ready for that kind of commitment to my home. But apparently you do need to clean grout. Apparently it gets disgusting and dirty over time and after watching like a hundred different blog posts on this, I was like, oh, I guess I should check my grout. So I experimented in the bathroom that I think had the lightest grout and I checked the back, like near the back of the toilet versus in the middle of the floor. And I was like, oh, so apparently my grout is white. So that's kind of embarrassing. And what this hack recommends is actually using toilet bowl cleaner in your grout to clean it. And I was like, perfect, because I actually had this on hand and I didn't have to go out and like buy ingredients for it. And they say all you need to do is first spot test because apparently it's different. It can like bleach out any colored grout that you may have. So like watch out for that. So I spot tested an area like kind of behind the toilet first to just make sure that it you know, wouldn't like burn a hole in my floors. So all I did is I poured it into the grout line, let it sit there for around 10 minutes or so, used like a scrubby brush and like scrubbed it in, let it sit for another like two to five minutes. And then I wiped it away and then I washed my floor. And oh my gosh, what a difference. This stuff is insane, people. So you can see I did a little half of a square so you can see the difference between what is cleaned and what is not cleaned. And I clean my floors, guys. This looks like I don't clean my floors ever, but I really do. But they are bright, they are spotless, like it is insane the difference that that makes in your floors. Like, whoa, Nelly, I was not expecting that. This hack was a definite win for me, but please, if you are going to test this out for yourself, make sure you are A, wearing rubber gloves, because this stuff is toxic. Two, you clean your floors really, really well, probably a couple of times to get rid of all the bleach off your floors, especially if you have pets or little babies crawling around. You wanna make sure your floors are like completely rid of the bleach or like toilet bowl cleaner in general afterwards, so. Check for that and also do a spot test in a small area first just to make sure that you're not going to um, just bleach out any colored grout that you may have or it just takes to your particular type of grout well or the tiles or anything like that. You just wanna do like a little area first just to make sure. But for me, for the tile that I use, total win. And then lastly, the one that I'm like pretty much the most stoked about, power drill cleaning. How could you not want to clean when you have something like this? This is awesome. So basically what you need for this particular hack is you need first like a power drill, like this one. I know, I know absolutely nothing about tools, guys. It's really sad. You're going to need a screw and a nut, as well as for me, I needed a washer on the back because my screw was a little bit too long. And then this particular brush head thing is one of those um, replaceable, brushes that you can use for the they're the palm brushes that fill up with soap. Um, you can get a whole bunch of replacement ones, but they have a hole in the center. I'll link a whole bunch of them below in case you guys are interested in purchasing them for yourself. You can buy them in like two packs and they fit perfectly into this. So I'm gonna show you the B-roll, how I put it all together, but basically you just wanna get the screw through the hole of the brush, you wanna screw the nut on, you wanna put the washer on the back, and then you're going to fit it into the drill and like get it all secured, whatever, and then voila! You're ready to clean. So I decided that I would test this out in the shower because I got, after like my initial excitement wore off, I was like, wait, I don't actually know what I'm gonna clean with this. So basically I sprayed on a cleaner, let it sit for a second and then use this to kind of like work it into the shower. Cause I don't clean like the uh, walls of my shower as often as I probably should. So I was like, they're probably pretty dirty. So let me like clean them up like super good. So I use a very light hand because obviously you don't wanna like literally drill this into the wall. Um, and I was going back and forth. And the one thing I will say about this is it takes a long time because this is such a small little like brush head. So I'm just going back and forth and I was like, this would take a lot less time if I had like my own brush. I could just like brush it really fast across the wall. So for big areas, I'm gonna say this is not very helpful, but I did notice there was like a little ring around the drain. So I used that for that and so much better. So I think if there are specific little targeted areas that you want to get a really good clean for, this is great and it just requires a lot less like muscle to actually do it. So if you have like a lot of bathrooms or a lot of areas you wanna clean that are very targeted, um, then this would be a really good hack and something that will make a big difference. But for big areas, for everyday use, like <laughs> this is obviously not very handy and useful. But if you're going on like a huge cleaning extravaganza for a weekend or something, putting something like this together was actually quite helpful. Chris might not get his drill back because <laughs> this 
this is like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And if you try out any of these hacks, leave me a comment down below and let me know if they worked for you. And if you have any other hacks that you guys want me to test out, leave them in the comment section below so I know, or hit me up on social, on like Insta, Twitter, something like that. Um, and I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far. I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.